Hi, everybody. I want to talk to you about some features that are available to you in what Google's calling the green room. The green room is this space right before you enter the Google Meet. And many of you are probably familiar with some of the features. You can mute your microphone here. You can turn off your camera, um, those sorts of things before entering a meet. Um, you can also change your background. Some of you have probably experimented with this, so you can click on a background that you want. Um, I'm going to turn that off. But what I really wanted you to be aware of is this feature where it says check your audio and video. And what this does is it allows you to um, identify your microphone source, uh, your speaker source, and your video source. Because oftentimes we have multiple options um, based on our setup. And so when you click this, you get sort of a zoomed in picture of yourself so you can kind of see your lighting, your distance from the camera, those sorts of things, um, how you'll appear to others in that Google Meet. But what's really nice are these three drop down menus down here. And so uh, the first one is microphone. And when I click that drop down, I can see all of the different options that I have uh, to use. And I am selected, I have the correct microphone selected. This is the one I'm using for the video and um, for the Google Meet. Same thing over with the speakers here. I'm gonna test this out. I have this drop down again. I can choose from all my different speaker options. It may be built into my device. It may be external speakers. It may be the classroom speakers. It just really depends on what you have. My webcam has a speaker. Um, but in this case, I want to use uh, the my two-in-ones speakers. And so I can click this blue button. And when I click that blue button, it gives me a little preview of where that sounds coming out. And so hopefully the microphone picked that up. It's coming out of my laptop right now. And then my camera choice is the USB uh, video camera. So the webcam I have attached. But if I click this, I have some other options. These are the, the world facing camera and the user facing camera built into my two in one. You may have a document camera listed here and you may want to use that document camera depending on um, the instructional situation. So once I've done that, and I have everything that I want, I can do, this is the best part here. You can do a quick test in a sample. And so when I click start here, they're going to capture a short clip of what I look like and what I sound like to the other um, participants in the meet. So if I click start, it's telling me that it's capturing this clip and I can say whatever I want. I'm just testing my audio and video, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. And now I can go through, it's got green checks by everything. Um, meaning that they're functioning, and I can press play. It's telling me that it's capturing this clip, and I can say whatever I want. I'm just testing my audio. So this is me one, two, talking three. to myself um, and listening what I'll sound like. So it captures video and audio. So you can use that before you go into your Google Meet. Another way to use that is if you're having issues when you're in your Google Meet. Um, I don't spend a lot of time trying to troubleshoot those issues within Meet. I just jump out of the Meet and come to this uh, menu. Just because for me, it's really um, visual, it's it's more obvious than some of the other ways that you can get into those settings. It's just something that that I do when, when it's appropriate, when I'm in a, a meeting or something like that. Um, it's my quickest way to uh, check all of those different inputs. So hopefully this video helped and gave you some more uh, tools in your toolkit. Um, again, this is the Google Meet green room and the menu that we're talking about here is to check your audio and video, and it's on the bottom left, right under the video image of yourself. So hopefully this video helps. Thanks for watching.